Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube, or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. letting anybody in here right now. I'm working. No, don't come in! No. I'm... <sighs> I'm working on something for... <clears throat> Cherry Bomb. It's, uh, a gift. You see, since she's, uh, starting to hang around here a little bit more because of, uh, the spider, I wanted to give her something. Something for, you know, being around and, well, not hurting anybody, especially me. Yes, yes, uh, yes, I know. I'm building something that wouldn't really be good for me, you know, as a weapon or something of that sort. Other besides, you know, being a good friend. At least that's what Charlie said. They told me I need to be more friendly with all the people here. But I don't know if they're going to be friendly back to me. That's why I keep all my stuff in here. To make sure nobody gets it. Gets their grimy hands all over my... Technology and inventions. But I, I mean, yes, I am building this for Cherry Bomb. But it doesn't mean I'd want her to touch all my technology and... Gadgets and whatnot. This is all mine, you see. And I wouldn't be able to build all this stuff without my minions, even though they could be rather dumb. <sighs> I guess I can take a break for right now. What is it that you need from me, human? Oh, well, am I? Billy really haven't talked to you in a while. Besides, you know, that one time, that's about it. So, I mean, it'd be interesting to talk to you. Do you have any, uh, interests of technology or building stuff? Because if you do... I'm the perfect snake for the job. Oh, you need someone to talk to. This is something Charlie did say about having good conversations with others. So, I guess we can talk. So, um... What do you want to talk about? Well, I mean, you are quite different from everyone else down here. But, uh, one thing to point out is, well, you're alive. There's not much alive people down here in hell. I guess it makes you popular because, well, you're alive. And still human. There's not really much of 
those type of people here. Lots of people around all the rings of hell have seen you, and most of the sins know about you as well, because I've seen the television, and most of the sins on their channels that I've been scrolling through, they've talked about you. Yes. Mostly good things from what I saw. Well, there was this, uh, one sin wearing a lot of green and, uh, was rather chubby. He didn't really seem happy that you didn't want to have a job with him. Something of that sort, I can't remember. The rest of the scenes were rather nice about talking about you. You are like a celebrity down here. Mm hmm. And, well, you did first meet Lucifer. So I guess that means you are pretty known around the whole of hell itself, cause, well, he's kind of the ruler of all of this shit. Yes, yes, yes. It is pretty, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Important to have you around. And, well, I have overheard the conversation of you trying to talk to God. Yes, I think that's rather idiotic. Because, well, those are the people who are trying to exterminate all of us down here. And you want to talk to the biggest one of them of all time. Well, I mean, I kind of knew about of Lucifer's upbringing, or darbringing, is, I should say, because, well, I did read a book about his uh, downfall and how God up there in heaven is his father. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Yes, but hopefully you'll be able to, um, talk to him properly when the time comes. And what, when do you get to talk to, uh, God? If you don't mind me asking. In a few days? Well, that's very interesting. I hope he doesn't be, you know, kind of a jackass like the rest of the angels that I've heard of. Especially that one angel. Yes, well, that one angel is, uh, how do you say, a fucking jackass. Yes, well, I, uh... A little of the rough and tuffle with that one, and, well, it didn't really end well for me. He destroyed my whole ship in one blow. But luckily, I had, uh, Alistair around, and, well, he... I don't know how he did it, but he got me out of my ship just in time before it all exploded or evaporated. Yes, Alistair is a powerful demon. I'm not really sure where he gets all his power, but it was helpful nonetheless. If it wasn't for him, I would have been snake food. Uh, 
Uh, yes, I would rather be alone right now. As you can see, I'm still very busy trying to build this gift for Cherry Bomb. Yes, yes, yes. You can come bother me any other time, but right now it's not a good time. Yes, so please, could you leave my room so I can get back to my tinkering and building for the gift I'm going to give Miss Cherry Bomb? All right, human. I will see you very, very soon. Ta-ta! Hiya, boss. Where do you want me to keep these flowers? Put those back where I'll kill you. <laughs>